Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Nice day to do really anything outside. I know you went skiing. Yeah. You. I took the dogs outside. A, there you go. A couple times. Did they get a treat? Yeah, they. Once they started listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> takes so a they pulled while. you down the street, and then and then you got a. Treat. Well, we, we just run around the yard and okay. stuff like that. All right. Well, yeah, it was about 50 degrees. Yeah, it was and, nice. Uh, a lot of melting snow, at least in the Burlington area. Not much left. Look at this gorgeous shot over Saranac Lake Hotel, Saranac, Scarface Mountain, the, the distance and uh, Mansfield right now with the blue sky overhead. So a really nice evening. And uh, of course, Killington there in the distance from Rutland, blue sky over Brattleboro as well. So no one left out. Still have 51 in Messina, 54 in Bennington. About 50 or so for the high temperature in the Champlain Valley. We'll know the official numbers a little bit later on, but certainly the gusts have come down. They were still up near 40 this morning, and now they're more like 26 miles per hour in the upper valley. Hey, the white that doesn't move on Storm Tracker, see it there in the initial part of the loop? That is snowpack visible from space. And uh, one way we know is because it doesn't move when you loop the animation. So uh, cool shot there with all the snow that we got over the weekend. Clouds starting to come in from the Michigan area and they will start to get here by tomorrow morning. There's still going to be some pockets of sunshine. I think it's fine feeling tomorrow morning. Maybe a sprinkle, but you see here you blink and you miss the sprinkle potential. There is one right there over Brattleboro at 5 p.m. And then as we go along, we see uh, clouds continuing for Thursday morning, especially. But there should be a brightening of the sky as we go along. See how th uh, Thursday afternoon turns out a little brighter. The Friday system is tricky because if you believe Futurecast, it misses a lot of us. But I will say there are a lot of indications that bring the rain even into the Champlain Valley Friday morning. So for now, we'll say rain is possible for all of us Friday morning. Look at the blue in the mountains of southern Vermont, kind of like near Magic Mountain there in uh, northern parts of Wyndham County. There may be some wet snow. I don't think it adds up to be much, maybe an inch or two in the higher elevation. See how it looks here on the snow map? Just a little blip there, but it may just be cold enough for a little of that wet snow in the highest parts of southern Vermont early Friday morning. So that'll give us something to watch. 52 for Wednesday and Thursday. And then you see here as we go down uh, a little bit into the weekend. So temperatures tonight, not that bad. 20s with a mostly clear sky. For tomorrow, we've got almost 50 in Plattsburgh. 55 for Ticonderoga, Newcomb in the low 50s. How about northern Vermont? A little warmer uh, than today, like Lindenville was mostly in the upper 30s today. Should be a solid 10 degrees warmer for tomorrow. 52 in Burlington and very close to 60 as we head down the road towards Brattleboro. 59 there. So here's the extended forecast as we go along. Thursday afternoon turns a little bit brighter. And then we've got the impact weather on Friday. The better chance is surely in the southern half of our region for rain, but some of the showers could even get to the Champlain Valley. 45, we have clouds on Saturday with a spot shower. Yes, a few rain showers on uh, Sunday with a high of 49, St. Patrick's Day. And oddly enough, the last day of winter there, Monday of next week, first day of spring on Tuesday, there may be some snow showers, could even be some mountain snow as we go into early next week. And for a time, it's actually seasonable with highs in the upper 30s, but certainly the next couple days are mild. So our eyes are glued to Joe's Pond, especially because uh, of how warm it's been. The earliest ice out on record is April 5th, and the organization there already saying if it happens to go out before April 1st, the online ticket sale deadline, then uh, that's when ticket sales end, even if it's in March. So we'll be watching that very closely. Brian, Liz.